In cooperation with the Canadian Wildlife Service and other state, provincial and private conservation partners, the 58th Annual Waterfowl Breeding Population and Habitat Assessment Survey is now complete. This video gives a brief overview of habitat conditions and duck population estimates across the survey area for the 2013 season. In May and June 2013, air crews flew across more than 1 million square miles of waterfowl habitat in large segments of the U.S. and Canada. Ground crews surveyed a part of the same area to validate the aerial survey numbers. This year, some of the information on duck breeding populations comes from areas which were flown by Canadian Wildlife Service helicopters due to a last-minute mechanical problem with some of the Fish and Wildlife Service fixed-wing aircraft. The air and ground crews worked with other biologists from the Migratory Bird Program to summarize habitat conditions, determine breeding population estimates, and draft annual species reports. Much more detail and insights from the survey crews are available on the flyways.us website. To access the Trends Report and more information on the incredible world of waterfowl management across North America, visit the flyways.us website. Overall, habitat conditions were similar to or slightly improved from last year. In general, conditions during the 2013 survey were characterized by a very late spring with average to above average moisture across most of the traditional and eastern survey areas. The 2013 pond estimate for the north central U.S. was 2.3 million. Although pond numbers in the U.S. were 41% higher than 2012, much of this area was only rated as fair to poor. However, late spring rains helped recharge wetlands, which benefited late nesting waterfowl. The pond estimate for Prairie and Parkland, Canada was 4.6 million and 17% above last year's estimate. Most of the Canadian portions of the traditional survey area were rated as good to excellent, in contrast to 2012, where drier conditions existed across northern Alberta and Saskatchewan. Overall, population estimates for most species of ducks remain strong for this breeding season. In the traditional survey area, which includes the north-central United States, south-central and northern Canada, and Alaska, the 2013 total duck population estimate was 45.6 million birds, a decrease of 6% over last year's estimate of 48.6 million. Mallard, Gadwall, green winged Teal, Northern Shoveler, Canvasback, and Redhead estimates are all similar to last year's estimates and above the long-term average. Although blue winged teal estimates were down, they are still well above their long-term average. The combined lesser and greater scalp estimates are below last year's estimates and the long-term average. American widgeon estimates are higher than last year and similar to the long-term average. Northern pintail numbers are similar to last year and below the long-term average. In the Eastern Survey area, which includes Maine, the Maritimes, Quebec and Eastern Ontario, estimates for American black ducks, mallards, green-winged teal and mergansers all were similar to last year's estimates. However, golden eyes and ring-necked duck populations both showed increases from 2012. In general, most Arctic nesting Canada goose and white-fronted goose populations continue to do well and are stable. In addition, populations for Pacific brant, as well as populations of eastern and western tundra swans, were generally similar to last year, but populations of Atlantic brant decreased 25% relative to last year. However, most light goose and temperate nesting Canada goose populations remain overabundant. Overall, conditions over most of the Arctic were good for nesting, and the forecast for goose and swan production is favorable. The only exception is on Alaska's Yukon Kuskokwim Delta. A late spring combined with an extensive storm surge produced a coastal flood that occurred at peak hatch and meant that the outlook for goose production there was poor. Upland nesting habitat loss across the prairie pothole region continues to be a major concern of the Fish and Wildlife Service. Loss of grassland habitat presents a huge challenge for ducks and other wildlife and hampers duck production. The service is also concerned about large-scale changes in the boreal forest regions of North America. Once considered to be stable and undisturbed, important waterfowl breeding habitat continues to be transformed by energy development, logging, and mineral extraction.
While most duck populations remain strong, where and when waterfowl will be encountered this year depends on many factors. Weather, food availability, and water conditions influence local duck abundance, distribution, behavior, and ultimately, hunter success. For more information about the population and habitat numbers, to access the Trends Report, and for much more information about the incredible world of waterfowl management across North America, visit the flyways.us website.